In the 1990s, Denmark was a superpower in women's handball, winning almost every title available. But since their last big title, the third Olympic gold medal in a row in Athens 2004, Norway has taken over the title, the best team in the world. Now, co-hosting the EHF Euro 2010, the two countries were favourites to meet in the final. But losing to Sweden meant that Norway came second in Group 2, and so the neighbours meet in the semi-final, with Norway as a clear favourite, having won the last nine matches between the teams. Also, Denmark lost joint top scorer Mia Gustafsson to injury. But everyone expects a fantastic game, as Denmark won Group 1 easily, playing superb handball and Danish coach Jan Pitlik won't have any problems motivating his players for the match. No. <laughs> a match uh, against Norway, uh, I don't have to motivate them. Uh, they are so ready and uh, of course uh, with so many spectators here in Denmark it will be a, a, a great game. Uh, this was uh, the dream final match for very many people but uh, you have to meet them in the semis. Uh, would you rather have met them in the final? <laughs> No, it doesn't matter for us. Uh, it will be great if we can beat them in the semi-final. Uh, but of course, uh, for the spectators, it will be uh, fine with uh, Norway, Denmark in the final. But uh, now uh, we have to meet them in the semi-final, and it doesn't matter for me. I think uh, it will be still a great game. Of course, it's a dream to play a semi-final. Uh, so I'm very excited. I think the defense uh, for both teams will be a, a very important factor, and uh, the fast breaks. Uh, I think the team who uh, who get the, the best defense and the, 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 the <laughs> and the most the fast breaks will, will win the game. It's the usual thing: defense, goalkeeping, and fast breaks. Yeah. <laughs> I think the defense, uh, the goalkeepers, and the fast breaks. The same as always. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's it's a simple game. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> And of course, also the uh, the attack for mm. us. It's very important that we are very sharp in the attack. Mm. If we score a lot of goals, we don't have uh, Norway's fast break against mm. us. So that means a lot. Mm. Uh, very important not to lose the ball. That's right. Everybody says the coaches, the players, everybody that it's defense, goalkeeping, and fast breaks that uh, will make the difference. As a goalkeeper, then you have a very big responsibility. <laughs> yeah, but that's part of, of my job. It's uh, if I if I don't get the ball, it's uh, in the goal. Uh, so uh, I learned to live with the, that responsibility. But uh, of course, it's uh, it's part of uh, the fun and uh, the hard stuff of being goalkeeper. How are you going to try to solve the Norwegian defense? Uh, we we're gonna have tactic this afternoon, so uh, we will talk about it there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't want to give us any secrets now? No. <laughs> uh, is this the team's biggest match for many years? Yeah, it's a, it's a semi-final, it's a, on Danish ground and we have, uh, as told before, 11,000 uh, cheering for us, so uh, it will be a very, very big, big match for us. Have you found any weaknesses in the Norwegian team? A lot. <laughs> a lot? Yes. No, they have a very strong team, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, of course they have some weakness. And uh, yeah, you're going. To, I, I, will, I, will show, I will show you tomorrow. <laughs> you have usually a strong defense in front of you, don't you? Yeah, it's been fantastic in this tournament. Uh, I think we have kept the, the opponent uh, in a very few goals, and uh, the defense is a big part of that. Uh, what is your first thought? When you get the ball uh, after a save, is it to throw it as far as you can in, into a fast break? Yeah, it, it's in my nerves. I, have, I look up, uh, uh -huh. where is there someone to give the ball? Uh -huh. Otherwise, I throw it short and then I, I'm, I'm happy for my save. Uh -huh. But the long throw is the first choice. Yeah, the goalkeeper is uh, taught that uh, from uh -huh. she's very little. As Strange as it sounds, you won your group and uh, you're playing here on home ground in front of 11, 12,000 people. Still, you are the yeah. underdogs tomorrow. Uh, the Norwegians must be considered the favorite. Is that a good thing for you? Yes, it is. I think that's good for, for our uh, very young team here that uh, they could just play. They just have to play and uh, enjoy uh, the game.